Hello YouTube, thought I'd do another quick video here, since I have everything kind of set up here. Um, this video is going to kind of show you uh, a couple things. One way is how you would hook all this up. Now I like to point out right away that I am not going to leave it permanently like this. Um, I'm just using the cables and adapters I have on hand. Um, so I'm going to make it more nicer and neater. I'll measure the what cables I need and all that stuff. But for now, I want to show you how to do this. And I want to show you a couple other things too. First thing I want to show you is let's test the wattage output of the amplifier hooked up to the repeater, the Redivus RT97 repeater. I have it apart. I um, have the door open because my cable here is too short to run it through the hole. So we're just setting it like this. So I have the low side of the repeater going into the amplifier in. And then I have this watt meter hooked up to a dummy load, which you can't see. It's off camera right now. But we're going to, I'm going to try to slide this up. We're going to key up and you're going to see the wattage. I have this plugged into the power, a plug-in power supply that power supply I did a video on. So it's a, it's a good power supply. I can handle it. So we're going to zoom in on here if I can. And we're going to key up the microphone and or the radio. And I got to use a handheld because the repeater does not have a microphone hooked up. Now when I do this, the microphone I'm talking into now may or may not cut out due to interference, just to let you know that. But watch this reading on here, if you can see that. Looks like 32.7. So remember that, 32.7 is what I get from this amplifier hooked up to the repeater without the duplexer. Okay, if you can kind of see that, let me slide this all over. I apologize for this, but I want to kind of show you. This is hooked up right to the repeater without the stock duplexer because I'm going to be using this duplexer. And we get 32.7 is what it said on there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook all this and we're going to uh, hook the duplexer up with the amplifier and we're going to see how much difference we get with the power output so we're going to unscrew this bear with me and here what does that say 32.7. So now we're going to take this off. Then we're going to put the other adapter on that I need to hook it up to the duplexer. This will be going on the antenna out of the duplexer. So we're going to hook this up to here. Okay, like so. We're going to get this nice and snug. And then we got to hook up. Okay, like that, using a dummy load. Then we're going to hook up this cable to the out of the amplifier. And that's going to feed, remember this is a 50 watt duplexer, so I can feed up to 50 watts. So this 33 watt output or 32 watt output is not a problem to feed this duplexer. So that's how we got it. Hopefully you can kind of see this. Let's slide this all up here a little bit. We're going to try to zoom in. Uh, let's see if we can, like I say, I apologize for the last minute. I already have all this stuff out. So I thought, hey, let's do a quick video. So we can kind of see how this would be hooked up. Okay. So, okay. Now, let's see if I can zoom in on that. And uh, very well, but uh, hopefully you can see it. I'm going to key up the mic. I'm going to key up the, the radio and watch this down here. 
my microphone I'm speaking into may cut out due to the interference of the radio. Okay, it looks like at about, what does that say, 24.9, it looks like to be the um, output. So if you go by that, 20, 24.9, it looks like about a 10 watt difference. So we lose about approximately 10 watts when you run it through the duplexer. Yes, I got lots of cables and adapters, so there's some loss in there. So, um, but that's what that says. Uh, that's at about a 10 watt loss. And I want to zoom back out to kind of show you how I did all this one more time. This, the stock duplexer, which is here, I took it out, removed it, hooked up the low side to the input of the Redivus RT91 amplifier. Then the output of this amplifier goes to the low side of this duplexer. And you gotta make sure you turn down the wattage. Now in my other video I showed you how to do it with the software. You cannot hook it up without turning this down to low watts or low output using the software because this can only handle six watts in. And I know my other video, it showed we were, we were over six watts a little bit. I'm not worried about it because there's going to be loss in the cables anyhow. So that's what that is. Now, the high side of the amplifier or the repeater, it's, it's just a direct cable that goes to the high side of a duplexer. Matter of fact, the cable that came with the with the um, amplifier was long enough where I, I could just hook it up with an adapter. So I didn't. I, I like I said, I didn't have to you know get a cable. Now I'm going to redo all this so that it's a little bit nicer and we'll order the right cables. But in the meantime, I may just run a distance test with this setup, um, and we can compare it to the other distance test I have on my YouTube channel. It'll be the same exact setup, the same antenna, the same way I had it. The only difference is we'll be running a different duplexer, an amplifier, and a uh, repeater. Um, so that'd be the only difference. Um, and then I'll be using the same Redivus high gain antenna with the 50 feet of coax. So that's how we're going to do that. Now, I didn't close this cover, and I couldn't because this cable I have, this cable actually came with my Nano. <laughs> so I just kind of used it quick for this test, and the cable ain't long enough to run out the hole if you're wondering why I didn't do that. This cable that, that came with the amplifier was long enough I could do that, but this one was not. So I don't know if I got any more cables off the look. If I do, then I'll, I'll close it and, and, and do that. And as you can tell, you don't need the display hooked up for the amplifier to work. Or for the for the repeater to work, you don't need the display hooked up. So, but at any rate, that's uh that's how you would hook this up. So hopefully you get an idea. Hopefully you can see this well. But that's kind of nice about using different color of cables. The other cable is black. That's right here. That goes to the high side of the duplexer, to the high side of the repeater. And I do have a plug-in power supply that's powering the amplifier, and of course the repeater is plugged in too. And then I just have, I've been using adapters. Um, I mentioned in my other video, you can either order adapters or you can order cables with the certain ends on them. You'll have to check eBay for that. But I uh, hope this helps. And I uh, thank you. And uh, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them down below. Have a good day.